Hello, YouTube. So, um, date and time, let me start with that. Uh, it's Wednesday, May 17th, 2023, 3.36 p.m. Uh, I'm shooting on Obama Phone 3, and there's Obama Phone 4, which I just used to check the time and the date. And I'm, uh, I'm actually in the carport for the next building over, which I'm pretty sure is owned by the same landlord that I have. Um, I think it's technically a separate property, but but uh, anyway, it probably looks a little sketchy that I'm standing under here because um, it's you know I'm next to somebody, somebody else's vehicle and somebody else's trailer. But um, I, with these two uh, free government phones, with it being daylight in Phoenix. I absolutely need to step into a shady place to get enough contrast to, uh, or to get, to be able to, to see the screens enough to use the phones because it's, the sun is so bright. And then I'm going to step out. Step out. Um, finally, finally, uh, I always love it when I see electric scooters out in the wild. Um, speaking of that electric scooter, and I'm hoping I caught it on video because I wasn't really trying to shoot video of that scooter. And I think I, I think I creeped that kid out. <laughs> oh man, look at that. Somebody messed up the bricks. I wonder how that even happened. This was like the one, one piece of property where whoever has the house on the other, you know, adjacent street kind of went out of the way to sort of landscape the side facing the alley. And I really like that. Somebody's kind of messed up the bricks. Anyway, um, yeah, I think I, I think I scared that kid. And, and to be fair, the first few times I saw him, he kind of struck me as sketchy. In fact, almost the point that I, that I called Lon, the property manager, to, to report his presence. Because he's he straight, the kid straight looks homeless. I'm, you know, I, I feel so... Um, sorry, one of the vehicles in the carport beep. I think it's just uh, one of my neighbors using their keyless entry. <laughs> I'm so startled by everything these days. Um, um, the uh, and there's a spin scooter. I love that there's rental rental scooters like kind of in the neighbor. Like they don't cross 46th Street. They're on this side of 46th Street, not the side I live on. But that was something that I actually used to really dream about a lot when I worked for uh, worked for Lime and it's kind of neat that it's come to fruition uh, I'm already off on like five different tangents at once and not able to focus on any of them uh, neighbor uh, keyless entry um, for that uh guy with the, oh yeah, so the landscaping guy, yeah, I, I almost called the lawn the property manager because he just struck me as very sketchy and suspicious, looks like a homeless guy. Oh, and that's what I was going to say, that the whole, um, the whole, uh, um, So I'm about to enter what I believe is Costco property, which I think is separate from, um, technically is separate from what would be considered, uh, um, forgetting the name of the shopping center. My brain is still trying to say Thomas Mall and it hasn't been Thomas Mall for well over 30 years. Uh, Arcadia Crossing. I think what I'm walking on right now is, uh, 
I think I think Costco. I could be wrong. I mean, and, it's, and I think Costco property is a separate thing than uh, than. Uh, man, this is a pet peeve of mine. When people take discarded pallets, the like people working in warehouses, and they put them out to go back to the people that reuse the pallets, or recycle the pallets, and they leave shrink wrap on them like that. Like, I don't know, to me it's not ready to, to me it's not ready to go get stacked and go back until all the shrink wrap is removed. Because that's not part of the pallet. And I, I got a few, oh look at neat, it's a, it's a booth, it's a fast food booth. I've actually got a fast food booth in my kitchen, but it's buried. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, now I'll put that with that other trash there, but, um, yeah, that's not part of the pallet, and it probably bothers some of the people in the warehouse I, when I'm working on wood pallets, and I'll take the time to take that crap off the pallets, but, um, yeah, to me, those pallets need to be clean and free of all debris before they're stacked and sent back to a pallet, uh, sent to a pallet yard or, you know, wherever they go. Um, so as I was saying, I think, I think Costco property is separate from, from, uh, from, uh, Arcadia Crossing property. Now, there is not a really obvious boundary, but I mean, I feel like, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. The, uh, this is an awkward conflict right here. Between the semis going in and out of the in and out of the stuff and and the, with this which is a thir through route for traffic and then those parking spots which I feel they should el eliminate other than there's people in them so obviously there's a need um, uh, yeah this is a bit of a traffic conflict but yeah like I, look look at this see here you see there's a divide in the pavement can you see that or like the pavement on like right where he crossed there see the line and, and the pavement here, although maybe, I don't know, I feel like, well, eh, maybe it's just pieces of pieces maintenance separately. Anyway, I feel like there's, there's a definite property line that I'm walking along here that differentiates between what is actually um, managed property, managed commercial retail leased property as a... Uh, as Arcadia Crossing, which I think I'm on right now, and then this parking to the south, and the Costco. Anyway, um, the police, when they when they picked me up last week, they told me that that security guard was the security guard for the entire shopping center. I don't think that was true. I think he's exclusively for Costco. I think Costco's jurisdiction, for lack of a better term, I think it ends right where I'm walking. Although this driveway off here to the left also appears to be sort of a boundary as well. So, so that part. Um, anyway, because um, yeah, I don't think I don't think because he said I was trespassed off the Costco, but then at one point he's, the cops said that he was a security guard for the entire complex. I don't think he is. I think he's just a security guard for, for Costco. In fact, I, I'd like to, when I go through this court case, I would like to do some discovery to find out um, if, if he is actually an employee of Costco or if, you know, he works for a security company. You know, to find out if he's an employee for Costco or if he's an employee of a security company that is contracted with Costco. Because that, that'll make, a, I think, it'll make a difference as to what his... Uh, what his legal status is and what he can and cannot tell me to do. I mean, I think regardless of what his position is, I mean, I think even if he was the property owner, he would be overstepping, which he, uh, clearly he's not, uh, would have been overstepping his bounds by telling me that I couldn't finish my legal transaction of, uh, of checking out a, an electric scooter, a lime scooter, to continue my journey on up to Fry's last Tuesday night. God, it's been over a week now, because that was not last Tuesday night, but actually the Tuesday before, because now it's Wednesday. Um, so I'm, uh, 
I'm finally out of the apartment in, in the daytime. And actually, to be honest, to be fair, I guess to, to, that's a little, a little inaccurate because I did come out in the daytime with my friend, with the Camaro, um, to run errands. And, and, then, and then he chose to also help out the old hooker with giving her a ride to, to the home ink offices, which I, I didn't expect that he was going to come out and kind of help me out and bail me out. I, I, you know, the guy's probably the best friend I've had in overall in maybe the last 20 years god maybe it's more closer to 30 years at this point um and 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 to be fair i think we've each got much closer friends and have had much closer friends in that time period but um during that time period, both of us, one thing I think we very much have in common, in fact, in spite of the fact that him and I aren't actually that close in, in some ways, is that that I think the people that we were close to that have come, have come and gone during that time period, and some of them just by, you know, kind of going in different directions or, or, you know, female friends that we ended up having relationships with that ended. Uh, as we've each had some of those, or um, just other people that we became closer to or were closer to that, that have died. I mean, that's that's a reality I don't ever hear anybody talking about is when you get into middle age. I mean, uh, to be fair, it, it started happening to me when I was started losing friends to death at, started losing friends to death at, at eight when I was, 17, 17, 18, 17. First friend I really remember, like vividly remember losing to death, I was still 17 years old, and that would have been my friend Britton Boland. Um, yeah, because he died on the night of July 4th, um, 1988, and I didn't turn 18 until uh, August 6th, 1988. So, yeah, so anyway, we've both... That's that's something that happens. I don't think people really talk about. Um, I don't think people really talk about how one of the struggles of being middle aged is is losing losing older friends and family members that that are your are your emotional support and, and maybe also kind of financial support. Um, I mean, I haven't had any grandparents for a while. Um, I lost my last two great aunts within the last, you know, few years. Um, as well as my last great uncle, although to be fair, um, him and I never, ever really talked. In fact, I think he kind of resented the uh, relationship that I had with his wife, who was, you know, biologic family, and he was um, family through marriage. Not that that makes a difference. The other great aunt that I lost a couple of years ago, um, her husband was, you know, the was her, her she was my biological great aunt, and her husband was my uncle through marriage. And uh, shit, I wanted to go to Target, and I walked right past Target. Um, was was through was, yeah. Her husband was was my uncle, you know, great uncle through marriage. And although he died, he died when I was very young. I want to say he died when I was in my 20s. Um, him and I were very close. Like him and I just, I just, he was, you know what I mean? I like, I didn't even understand. I, I think I was well into my teens before I realized the whole concept of like, she is a blood relative and he's not. Like, I just, I don't know, some things, some concepts, you know, when, at what age do people understand these concepts? You know, for me, a lot of those things just kind of came late. Um, thrills of being, being on the spectrum, I guess. Uh, um, sorry, I'm making no sense today, and maybe it's not, I need to go back to Amazon. I need to go back to Rob's shop. I need to confront him. Uh. I haven't. It's been a it's been a good two three days ish since I got the text message from him saying that he'd have the car done uh, tomorrow. You know, there's been a couple tomorrows come and go, 
and I need to confront him about it, or at least try to. You know, I never know if he's going to be at his shop till I get there. I mean, even if I call, like he's already pretended to be at his shop, but on days when he's not been at his shop, um, and and uh, so that's you know that's a that's a problem, um, and and he's. Uh, I wonder if she's wearing any bottoms. <laughs> you wearing any bottoms? Um, yeah, she's, she's, uh, he's, he's, she's, um, God, I'm worried I'm too nervous and weird to deal with the public today, but I'm trying. Oh, God, I'm trying. Um, I need to, need to, need to confront, 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 confront Rob, and I need, need to, need to, uh, Jesus. Oh, my God. I need to go to Amazon. Second half night starts today. The HR person who who understands what I've kind of what I've been going through that I sort of opened up to, um, as well as that, that um, as well as that. God, the voices in my head are trying to direct me to the vinyl, and that's not where I'm going. Oh, that is where I'm going though, because that's where the SD cards are. Oh, this is a less stressful while. Jesus Christ, I'm not ready to deal with the outside world. <sighs> Oh God, I'm hyper gonna win. I'm 16 minutes into this video. Uh, this phone holds about 34 minutes before it runs out of space, so I'm trying to get a micro SD card so I can film more in this, because the other phone is pretty much full with a micro SD card that's on it. Um, and um, there's stuff on it that I really want to keep and I want to edit stuff out of. Um, I want to keep and I want to edit stuff out of and 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 so I can't delete it but I'm out of space to delete it it's, it's anyway it's a pro problem I'm trying to solve that problem I know I could get a micro SD card for, 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 for cheaper if I went to and you know, get a micro SD Jesus Christ I'm so oh, help me all off um, I know I could if I can get to anyway I should stop this sorry I'm it's just too much anxiety to talk. Um, I need to, anyway, I think I'll, it, it does, it's been very therapeutic to keep this vlog going. And hey, where, there's where the clearance is. I love going to uh, tar, 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 Target clearance. Um, so that was one of my sources of income before I got the Amazon job, and I'd like to talk about that later. Um, made a lot of money out of, out of, uh, um, retail arbitrage, arb arbitrage, I think it's called, um, flipping online things from Target Clearance. Um, a lot of people do YouTube channels about that. My, I barely touch on it with mine, but I've, I've done it and I've done it pretty well. Um, um, apparently I'm the, the, uh, Disney section. So a lot of Frozen stuff here. Frozen apparently still, still popular with little girls and... Little Mermaid, um, about to become a big deal. I'm curious how much of this Little Mermaid stuff is stylized around the original cartoon and how much they're trying to stylize a little more like the upcoming live. Oh, that answers my question right there. Um, Ariel's black. You know, I'm not even going to go on that tangent. I, I would like to point out that... Um, I thoroughly enjoyed uh, Black Annie, so. There's an agenda, I'm not thrilled with the agenda, but I'm, I'll, I'll, I, I will definitely judge the film as a separate work. Um, on that note, um, I dig this Disney Princesses. Uh, that's uh, Moana. And, and uh, yeah, and that's um, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. <laughs> uh, if you ever get a chance, if you haven't seen it, and you ever get a chance to see Moana in 3D, in proper 3D on a 3D home theater system, do it. Oh my lord, Moana, not in 3D, not the same, not the same. Okay, I need to wrap this up, I need to get my SD card, and I will continue 
later once I leave here, because once I leave here, I'll be able to install that, and I'll and then I'll have uh, space to record on it. I feel like I need this because it's it's therapeutic and it kind of helps keep me together. Because I'm I really I really 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 trying to get to Amazon tonight to try to save my job. It does. I was looking at my A to Z, and it looks like somebody, not me, has recognized that I'm having a meltdown and is trying to save my job. Um, and I'll explain more about that in the next video. Thanks, 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 thanks for coming with.